In this video, you'll learn how to create a hook exactly like Tom Nosk and Premiere Pro. Our captions for this because Tom Nosk uses a lot of caption based textile topography. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to this text. If you don't have the text, just come up here to window and hit the text down here. It's gonna bring up, hit your captions, create ch captions from transcript, drag this so you can see it a little more. more. And I recommend just always bringing them all the way to the left and hitting single. That's exactly what he does. Hit create captions. It'll give you a nice caption base that we are looking for. And now let's kind of create his type of style. I don't know exactly what caption he uses slash font he uses. So let's just select these all. And what I always use and I pray everyone else uses is a font called Monastret. So here's the font Monastret. I always just like to grab this. It's just an amazing font. It looks exactly like his or could possibly be even better. I like these all. Make sure to hit this middle kind of square thing. You'll see that it goes right in the middle. Let's just up the size just to like 140, I think is perfectly fine. He doesn't use capitalized, so I'm not gonna use capitalized. So make sure that you don't have these capitalized. I'm just gonna come in here and switch it really quick. He doesn't also use a shadow in this, so I'm also gonna highlight these all, make sure they're all highlighted. Hit, get rid of the drop shadow. And if you guys wanna use this exact same color, here it is, this is the code. So that's what I'm gonna be using too, just hit okay. Now it looks already great. Now if we kinda of play this, these look a little too high. So what you can do is just come over here and grab this right one, drag it down. And now we kinda, of, we want it to sit right next to his kind of chin. So just I'll up a little bit more and let's see if this is a little too close. It looks like a little too close. So let's just bring it down. Now, once we've did that, everything is looking bougie. We can simply just make sure they're all highlighted again by just kind of left clicking and dragging. Come up to this windows or graphics and titles. Make sure upgrade and caption and graphics. Now we can manipulate anything that is happening. So it essentially just lets us do everything i'm just gonna kind of drag these down so i can see them and now let's kind of make this first effect my business is just one looks like is just one. is just fades out so what we can my do is just come over to is just, is just make sure that they're just the exact same so i'm just going to fade out this just by coming up to effects you can just do a really simple fade i'll show you really quick just come over to the opacity go to like the first one or wherever you want it and let's drag it a few frames to the right, hit that keyframe, put it to zero, and now you get this fade Just out one. that's kind of weird. Just but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over to my text and logo animations. That's what we're gonna be using kind of throughout this video, but I'll also show you how to create these. And if you want like a more premium, just really quick, it just saves a lot of time, is come over here, find the fade. It's most likely in the text animation. So come here, fade with blur, we can use that. So what I'm gonna do is just come over here, drag and drop it. That is actually accidentally fade in. So I'm gonna do fade out with blur and we get this kind of nice blur effect. It looks like it's a way too quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these up here, kind of fade this out over here and move the keyframes. So it kind of comes over here and now just one. gets a way nicer fade out. Now you can see that this one, one, this one kind of fades, it fades in and upwards. So what we can do is come up to this one, make it a lot bigger by going in the properties tab, just resizing it just like so. And what I'm going to do is search up an effect called transform. And then I'll show you how to do it in like less than two seconds with my pack. Search up called transform, wherever it is right here, drag and drop it onto the one. And what we are going to do is come over to transform in the effects tab, uncheck this so you get a nice motion blur. Also crank the shutter angle all the way up. That's initializes the motion blur. And what we're first gonna do is come over to the position, go to the first keyframe, couple of keyframes, we're gonna mess with it. Do it again and bring this value to the left. So bring it down. And now we get this kind of like movement animation. One. You can see that it has already motion blur. One. And his is a lot more aggressive. So come up to the left. One. This needs to pan out more. One. So now we have that movement that we're looking for. Now what you can do is come over to the opacity and just go to like that, add a keyframe, add another keyframe, put the first keyframe at zero. So now we kind of get this kind of fade in effect. So now it looks like this. One, just one, it's just one. And you can keep messing around and it'll look a little better. But again, you can just come over to the pack that I 
you guys can cop and basically just come over here, grab this like third textile up or the second one, whatever. I have a, quite a bit of them and it just looks like one. this. It pops in a lot better. It's just one. Just a lot faster, easier to do and bring this down a little bit. And now we kind of get his exact same effect. One. Not. Just pops. My business is just one. Not. Now let's go on to the next effects. Offer. Right. Looks like his offer goes right in the it's middle. One. So what we can do is just drag this over here bring this offer up too and we want to drag this one all the way to the right to meet this offer and wherever that offer is he also makes it i'm pretty sure have a drop shadow so we can see that offer so you can just go over here the offer in the properties tab click on drop shadow and we can just mess around with the drop shadow really quick this will increase that this will kind of give it a little blur nice i like that kind of decrease this and now let's just bring it down a little bit so it's in the middle awesome now we get this kind Business of effect just one offer that's perfect i absolutely one. love that that's what we're looking for now let's go into this pretty difficult russell brunson part so this is what the brunson part looks like uh, russell brunson's he does a match cut with russell brunson and he just does these black text with a white background and he also has this on the bottom left bottom right russell brunson said this he what i would like to do is actually also add a russell flicker Brun effect to one of these russell brunson to kind of give it more of a effect i just downloaded some pictures of russell brunson online what i'm going to do is i'm going to first make that russell brunson background so what you can do is just come over here click on color mat it's going to bring up a color mat that we're looking for make sure it's white hit okay okay again drag it where you need it so for instance, we are looking right here on the bottom. So I'm just gonna drag this right there. Nice, now it looks perfect. And these all need to be black. So I'm gonna highlight them all, come over to the properties and change the fill to black. So now we have that. I'm also, these are all the Russell Brunson. Both of them are throughout the entire clip. So I'm just gonna drag them up here and put them to the right, just like so. Same with to the left too, so, because they kind of pop in. And now I'm just gonna align this to like up here. Don't know exactly where it's going to go yet, but we will figure that out once it, we start putting in these pictures. So we can do this for this match, match cut is essentially just grab these, make them, just cut them wherever and you'll look like this. Once you've added all of them, make sure that they're all two frames. So what you can do for the two frames is just click on your keyboard where your arrow keys is twice. So one, two, then cut, one, two, cut, just like that. And now let's just kind of resize these all. What I like to do to resize them all is essentially come down to this add thing and you can find the show rulers and also show guides. So make sure those are both added by just dragging and dropping it right here. And what you can do is now when you click this and show rulers, you'll get guides. You can essentially just put it right in the middle or wherever you want them to align. So let's say I want them all to align like that. Now. When I go through like this first one, you can see it's way too big. I'm gonna come over and just resize it just like so, and kind of make this right in the middle. And then the second one, I'll make it like the second and bring this up just slightly like that. And you can kind of see that like he will be, now when we go to the second one, I will also like resize this and kind of put it to the right. So now as I, as I go to this first one and the second one will be exactly where his face is. Same with this one, boom, boom, boom. And keep doing that throughout and you'll look like this. Russell Brunson. Now, once you've done the Russell Brunson, what I would like to do, you guys know how to do this, but just come over to my pack. I searched up drop shadow, just add a little drop shadow just to make it pop more. And I also want rounded corners. So I'm just gonna come up here, grab the rounded corners, plop it on. Now it gives it a nice rounded corners to every single one of these, it looks a little too harsh. So what I'm gonna do is just decrease his border, bring this Brunson down just slightly and mess with, it. make sure this rough and edges is above and we get this nice Russell effect, Brunson. which looks absolutely amazing. Just readjust this Brunson again and we get Russell this effect. Brunson. Russell Brunson. That looks absolutely amazing. And now just get rid of these rulers and stuff. We get the Russell Brunson. And now after he does that, he just basically resizes these. So I'm gonna come over here, properties, resize these downwards and reposition them. So what I can do is just highlight both of them, make sure that they are nested. So I can just grab both of them and we 
you can manipulate it just like this, kind of bring it down a little bit right here. And now we get this effect. Russell Brunson said, and for that flicker effect I was just gonna tell you guys about, I can just come over to this text and logos, find wherever the flicker is. So right here, there's a subtle flicker and I know I also have different ones if I just search. Flicker, we have a medium flicker, we have a regular flicker, then we have a subtle flicker. I'm just gonna grab the medium flicker, grab it onto Russell, and we kind of get this nice, simple flicker effect. Russell Brunson's. Kind of adds to the match cut effect a little bit, and I really like that. Russell Brunson's. We can also just drag these out a little bit just to make it longer. And now, Russell Brunson. Perfect. That is absolutely it. If you guys want to learn more about how to edit like people, click this video right over here.